because Sleeping Beauty here can't have the radio on. Hopefully we don't get claustrophobic. I think the roads have got a bit worse. Sarah, what's it like driving with Not being able fully to packed see. car and roof box? It's interesting. So you've got the roof box above, still attached, which is great. And then this is Can what Sarah see see, yeah, it's what Sarah sees out the in her rearview mirror. since we posted a video. A lot has happened, so let's quickly fill you in before you get into this journey and adventure. Sarah, got some dentures? No, I've got my Invisalign. I've had it for two months and I'm still lisping, so I'm really sorry about that. What did you say? I don't understand. <laughs> Eddie got his motorbike license. Vroom, Not vroom, just any license, his big boy motorbike license. Full license. So we, yes, we moved home, which here in the UK it takes a very long time. We've kind of settled in, but now we are about to go and spend the summer in Portugal. So we thought in this video we would review the um, roads and also the service stations and rest stops here in the UK and then what you get on the other side in Spain and Portugal. So, so far, where are we? Where are we going? What's happened? We are halfway between London and Plymouth. If you're expecting a ferry video, this is not the one. We have done loads of ferry videos, so I will link these um, here and you can go and check them out. We have stayed in loads of different cabins. Uh, so today really is just about the 2,000, over 2,000 miles journey. And let us know in the comments below what you think will have the better roads and better service station. So far, uh, it's been quite busy. There's been, someone's been sleeping. A nap for like 30 minutes, Sarah. No radio, no radio, because Sleeping Beauty here can't have the radio on. There's been quite a fair bit of road works. Quite a fair bit of potholes as well, and like quite uneven surfaces. Um, but there have been some good views. There have been some good views, especially now as we are entering the West Country. It's it's really really pretty. So we have stopped at a, our first and last service and last station service of this journey. Station. Because it's only four hours, and we will try stopping at some lunch before we get on the ferry. But I don't know if it's going to work. So Let's see. I would say so far it's actually there's a lot of signs telling you when services are coming up and also the types of shops and restaurants you can find in those services, which is super helpful. A uh, big car park as well. And uh, yeah, we're going to check our out. Car is still there, just yeah, our car is still there. We're just in a cute little rest area at the moment, which has lots of cute little dogs running around. And we're just going to go find the food options now. Yeah. Don't judge me on my food choice. Thank you very much. So my verdict is that it is practically impossible to make healthy food choices here in the services. Yes, I went with a McDonald's. <laughs> I think partly it's because I'm so hungry, so I made a very, very bad food choice. The toilets, semi-clean, I would say, uh, but at least you didn't have to queue for them. Uh, great if you want to get a coffee. But as I said, if you want to have like a healthy meal, then I don't think services are the way to go. You went to McDonald's. I did a bad thing. So we got to Plymouth Ferries. And we're both quite tired. I'm oh, so tired. Is it time to sleep yet? For well, 22 hours. We need to first get through security and uh, then queue to get on the ferry. Uh, I just so There'll be about 16 sleep. hours left. Going through security always makes me a bit nervous because, well. <laughs> and also now, today is the first time that I'm driving onto the ferry, so. So you might end up in the sea. Don't let the camper van size muscle in on our lanes. There you go. Okay, that was really helpful. I wasn't even helpful, I was telling you to go the wrong, follow the wrong car. Yeah, I know, but that's not what I'm worried about, it's this bit. What's wrong with this bit? He'll tell you when to start. Very narrow. Mind the guy on the left, Sarah, you almost got here. So we found our room, and uh, let's just say this, this is it. Like, literally, this is it. Yes, there's a bathroom in there, 
But this is it. Apparently, I'm sleeping on the <laughs> bunk up top, oh. which at the time, kind of we thought would be okay because we thought we would have more floor space. Hopefully, we don't get claustrophobic. <laughs> We survived! Well, someone slept the whole time. Oh god, it was not good. I mean, it's almost June. It wasn't, it, it did feel a bit... I didn't think it was rough, any rougher than normal, but what I noticed, there seemed to be a bit of a rhythm, so... Um, not of the night. Which, no, which I think a lot of people were a bit green from oh what I saw God. when I went out earlier. It was awful. I made it to dinner, but just barely made it into the restaurant. I did manage to have my starter very slowly, but then I had to, like, get all my energy to not be sick. And someone needs to carry her back to the room and then go get his food. So, I, well, yeah, I, I have spent the last how many hours? Twelve. Yeah, in bed, um, in our little cabin, with no window, uh, just go. But we Well are... done on saving the £20 for the smallest cabin ever. We're just above the cars. We can actually hear the car alarms going off in the middle of the night. I said to Sarah, we need to spend that like £20 more, get a bit more space, get away from the cars. Um, and Because if this place goes down, we're going to be, you remember it in Titanic? When it's yeah. those people, we, the poor people at the bottom, that's we, us. Yeah, we're living like Leonardo DiCaprio before he met Rose. Yes. Uh, but, you know, I'm in bed all the time, so I'm kind of like, yeah, what's the point of having a really big, nice cabin? But I think we're docking in Santander, which is northern Spain, very soon. So hopefully we will be out very soon. So... Yes, and it will be fun. The weather looks great from how, the How app. are you? Oh yeah, you've been outside. <laughs> Waiting for them to um, ask us to go to the car in the three languages. So there we go. Yeah. So we've been going for about an hour so on the way to Lyon. And um, we haven't passed any services. There were some straight at the beginning, but we thought that was too soon to stop. So uh, we're hoping that there's one coming up. Not because we need a break, although I would like some crisps and a drink, but I think we should stop when we have a quarter of a tank left and we're on about an eighth of a tank. The roads for the first hour were brilliant, really smooth, like you were going 75 miles an hour, that's like 130 kilometers an hour and you didn't feel you were going that speed. However, now we seem to be doing a lot of road improvements so we have come down to single lanes and, and they have reduced the speed limit and they're a bit bumpy. Hopefully next time we come through it will be a lot smoother. We found some services. Next to a factory. Next to I... next to a factory of gluten-free biscuits that Eddie actually quite likes. Oh really? Yeah. Right, we'll find it. And they're never right on the road like they are in the UK. They're a bit, you know, a few minutes in. Um, we drive on the left or the right and we see uh, it. How very funny. Is that all it is? I think that's all it is. Well we do need petrol. But so. I don't know how you get in. How do the services compare, Sarah, to the UK? Uh, this is, just seems like a petrol station. 90 euros. <laughs> stretch. Feels really good to stretch our legs. Even though we've only been on the road for an hour or so, but it feels like we're so cooped up in the ferry. Uh, service station is so far quite far from the main motorway compared to England and it seems that you do need to drive maybe like five minutes out of the main motorway to find it. I wouldn't actually call this a service station, um, it just seems to be a petrol station with a tiny tiny shop uh, with essentials and then next to it there is behind me as you can see an area where you can just park the car and a couple of benches as well and it just seems to be in quite like an industrial area. There's like a furniture shop behind me and just recycling centers and things. So not what I would call a specific rest stop, a specific service station. Uh, if you are traveling through Spain um, or Portugal, you need to look out for the words Área de Servicio, so service area basically, the, the translation, because that is where your service station areas will be. So, back on the road! The sun is now shining and we're going through some beautiful countryside, but one thing we did notice since our stop at the first services we saw is 
that was about 10, 15 minutes ago, and we've passed like four services since then. So it's literally every few minutes. Some of them are smaller, some of them are a lot bigger. They had big restaurants attached to them and so forth. So I think that first hour wasn't very much, quite nothing at all, and then there's quite a few. I think you're wearing too many clothes. Well, I think I Spain. am too, as well. We it, went from like 12 degrees to 27 very quickly, so uh, I think I need to take some kit off. We have just stopped at a rest stop still in Spain, and it is so hot. It's about 27 degrees. It feels amazing. It's about wow. It's like 4 4:30 p.m. And uh, yeah, so this rest stop has petrol station as well. It seems to have a really massive building which says restaurant, as you can see behind me. It's got an area for truck rests, um, rest stops as well. So we're going to go inside and explore. I just came back from the toilets and I was really, really impressed. There were lots of cubicles, showers, and it was really clean. So, uh, yeah, this place gets a thumbs up. Uh, oh, Eddie. I think the roads have got a bit worse. The roads were really good, but I think just before we reached Portugal, they've kind of ignored it. Oh, and we're about to go into Portugal. <laughs> Eddie has found what looks like an amazing restaurant here in the town of Shavs and we are maybe 15 minutes away and I cannot wait and we've gained an hour. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. We may very well get to the restaurant before it opens but oh well. The landscape has definitely oh, changed. Oh it's green. Uh, we are off the motorway and we're in a little town. It's a bit Let's go speed bumps. Speed bumps, yeah, it's a bit bumpy. Yeah. We've just taken a wrong turn. I don't think the video can appreciate how like steep. <laughs> That's a dirt track. I'm going to have it in the drive. So the track is now even smaller. Oh, careful. Okay. This is supposed to be like a meal on the way to our destination. This is like an adventure on the way to the destination. Yes, I think I didn't so. really check it out. It said 30 minutes. I thought 30 minutes is not bad. But I didn't realise we're spending most of that 30 minutes going up a hill. Oh gosh, look at the road now. And my wheels are spinning underneath us. Let's check out the viewpoint. It's so warm as well. So I think the jumper's in it. That over there is the restaurant. I hope it's not too fancy. So there's people who shorts and t-shirts. Actually, that gentleman is having dinner with... Oh no, I, I thought he was having dinner with no shirt That's what I thought at first. <laughs> How nice is it to have dinner in the sun? I don't oh, know why you have so many I'm layers so hot, I don't know why I'm just a bit lazy and I'm a bit shell-shocked with the, like, the temperature difference. It is almost 7 o'clock and that's when they start serving dinner, yum, so we're yum. just going to... Wait out here. And I've already looked at the menu and um, we want to eat everything. There's something <laughs> we're gonna eat way too much and then end up sleeping. I think we're gonna sleep down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can... You're a bit full. Oh god, I am. <sighs> so we just had the most amazing meal. Huh? Sorry, I fell asleep. <laughs> I was gonna say the food got 
Gomez setting. It's already in. kicking in, and we've got an hour and forty-five minute drive Be still. Beautiful view, um, great food, amazing service. Uh, we wish we could go to bed now. It was quite. It was quite a fancy place. I felt a bit, a little bit underdressed. And, um, Only because the other people that were there were like dressed to the nines, but I don't think it's yeah. But it, it's really beautiful, like yeah. massive granite, exposed stone, glass, like floor to ceiling windows. It's absolutely beautiful. And you'd think, well, that's going to be an expensive meal, and we definitely was a shock <laughs> when we didn't finish the meal because it was, it was just so, so big. So it's not like in the UK where. The portions are quite small. You walk now. away sometimes hungry now, but um, there was actually food left over, uh, which is a shame. We did try our best, and it came to twenty five pounds. That's like under yes, thirty food. euros. I had a dessert, and you had a, a fresh uh, pineapple juice, fresh. and I had a large bottle of sparkling water for two people. I'm gonna end the vlog here with this beautiful scenery. We've got another what, an hour and a half? An hour and forty five minutes to head back. Yes, to Porto. And we'll see you on the next vlog because we are back to it. We are back to traveling and we can't wait to take you in our next adventure. Portugal for the next few months. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our Portugal adventures. We've got lots of exciting things planned. So I've just come back from using the gents. I was actually very impressed. The gents! Thanks, Sarah. What's my flow? Ring the bell. For notification. Are you going to leave that in? Oh my god, if you do, just cut my face out. I don't want to be associated to you. Weirdo. Now Sarah's gone, let's just have a chat, you and me. Let's take this seriously. I'm holding this channel together, okay? <laughs> so please give this video a thumbs up to show Sarah that now she's gone, the video's going to do better!